Today at Gadget Class, I am reviewing the SMSL SA50 Plus Digital Audio Amplifier. This is a nice, compact little amplifier. Great for a small home stereo system or even a little uh, computer audio setup. Very compact little digital audio amplifier. It does have MP3 uh, playing ability with an SD card input, a USB input, and a standard auxiliary uh, headphone input or optical audio input. Pretty feature-packed device here. It is a step up from the basic SA50. The only thing I would like to see is the uh, ability to have uh, Bluetooth audio input to it. But SMSL does make a uh, upgraded version that does have Bluetooth as well. And maybe one of these days I'll get my hand on that and do a review as well. I'm not going to go into all kinds of crazy details. What I am going to do is I'm going to show you if it can power my Alesis Monitor 1 speakers. Those are going to be the hardest to power. I've got two uh, standard PA speakers and I've got some uh, DBX uh, high-end home theater speakers with uh, 15s in them. Four-way driven speakers, Alesis Monitor 1s, and uh, three-way PA speakers. We're going to put all three to the test. I'm going to tell you if this thing can drive all three of them. So let's go ahead and get set up and uh, see what it can do. I do have two eight foot leads that are tinned on the ends. I made sure they were both exactly eight feet. It is good to have uh, both cables exactly the same when you're uh, driving an analog signal. Uh, that way you don't get any uh, impedance loss through the extra footage in the cable. So let's get set up and see what we can do. All right, let's take a quick up close look at this thing. It does have a nice OLED display on the front. It does have a nice knob with pos positive clicks. Um, it does have a forward, reverse, play, pause, and power buttons. It does also come with a fully featured remote control that controls all the functions remotely. And we got our various modes here. We got auxiliary input, We've got USB in, SD card, and optical. On the back here, we've got our banana jacks. Uh, banana jacks are nice, they are gold plated. Um, I like to use tin leads going straight through the holes there because you end up with uh, less chance of impedance loss. Unless you're gonna solder your banana jacks on, a lot of times it's better just to go straight in there with some tin leads. Um, the holes in there though were just barely big enough for my tin 12 gauge speaker wire leads. If you're gonna use speaker wire that's bigger than 12 gauge, um, you're gonna wanna use the banana jacks. But these are nice, uh, screw on jacks and they are gold plated uh, no issues with the quality of construction there at all on the back you also have your auxiliary and optical input port your micro SD port and your SD port the whole thing is very nice very sleek it's got a uh, you know polished aluminum housing um, nice screwed front housing it's got a really nice sleek look to it it would uh, not be out of place in any studio, on any desktop, um, next to any sound system. It looks cool. It's got a nice tactile feel. The volume knob has a nice positive thing. And there we've got our menus set up. Pretty neat the way they designed this thing. Looking at the uh, power supply, we've got a 19 volt power supply, 6.3 amps. So that's like uh, bigger than a lot of laptop power adapters. So it does draw quite a bit of power and it should be able to output a lot of power too. So let's go ahead and set up our various speakers now. First speakers we're gonna test out are these DBX home theater speakers. These are four way speakers and they uh, accommodate a pretty wide range of amplifiers. We got 20 watts to 250 watts. That's pretty good. And that's at eight ohms. The uh, this thing will output 50 watts per channel at 4 ohms, and this is going to be 8 ohms, so we'll see how well it handles that. Um, these are 15s in the back, and in the front, we've got uh, some 8s, looks like some 3s, and a little tweeter as well. Pretty nice uh, home theater speakers. I don't think it'll have any problem powering those at all. In terms of folder structure here, um, I was surprised to find in the manual that they say you can only go three folders deep on your MP3 files on an SD card. Um, that might be an issue if you've got a large USB hard drive and you've got over a thousand files. It says it can handle up to a thousand files per disk and three folders deep. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I've got uh, a pretty 
uh, complex tree level on my MP3 collection. So what I did here is I put up an SD card and I went ahead and made six folder levels deep. And I'm gonna see if it can actually handle more than three. Uh, I would like to see it handle up to six folders deep. And I, I just loaded it with some royalty free Ben Sound music here. And we're gonna go ahead and pop that in and see what we can do. So the three folder limitation is real. You can only go three folders deep. So I'm guessing that you can only have a thousand files on your media as well. That may be an issue for some of you that have larger hard drives with uh, your entire MP3 collection on it, or you have more than more than a thousand MP3s in your MP3 collection. Uh, you're gonna run into a limitation there. In terms of the sound though, it sounds great. the home theater speakers really well. I could not get it to peg out or distort at all. Um, the frequency response seemed to be really good. Now we're gonna test these cheapo uh, PA speakers I bought from a guy out in a parking lot. They are no name generic, uh, but they do a decent job for generic PA speakers. And they do sound all right. monitor ones just fine. The monitor ones are uh, set for uh, 120 watt program, 200 watt peak. And uh, I'm actually getting a pretty good sound volume and a pretty good sound quality out of this. We turn it up to the There is uh, no clipping or distortion there. Um, so this thing is probably just about maxed out for powering a good set of monitor speakers. If you're going for high-end audio, you're gonna want something about twice as powerful as this. But for most people, this is gonna do the job just fine, especially for powering a set of bookshelf speakers, powering a home theater setup, uh, even a uh, little uh, laptop recording setup. This is gonna power most things just fine. Uh, I, like the, I like the size, I like the styling, I like the features. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10, uh, mainly because of the folder limit structure and the lack of uh, ability to Lack of Bluetooth, only three levels deep on the folder structure, thousand file limit, um, and it, it could be a little bit under underpowered for a lot of pro audio setup. 
But uh, let's uh, send it out here with a little bit of relaxing music. Mm -hmm. 